finally here. My Ender 3. Creality Ender 3. We'll do a quick unboxing. I don't like doing long stuff. Let's get right into it. Oh man, am I excited. I've been waiting for this. Oh, oh. oh my gosh, Would you look at that. What a setup. Yeah. It's a little foam over top. And this is the first time I've seen it. Man, that's how it comes. Look, I even get clips. Even get my clips. What do we got here? What do we got here? Oh, is this the panel? Yes, it is. There's a little panel on the screen that you get. Man, what a setup. Gosh. Alright. So, let's, uh... Oh, man. I don't even know how to get it out of this. Got to, like, rip on it, or... What do I do? What do I do? I want to pull on the bed. I'm pulling on the bed. Oh, oh. Okay, don't do that. Oh. All right. Oh, man, that is just flopping around. That's nice. Oh my God. Look at this hardware. You cannot believe this. What a deal. There's so much more. Look at that. Power flop. What? Look at this. You can power it via XT60. Are you shitting me? The hell are you gonna power? What's going on? You can't charge it off this? I don't even get this. What, what is what is what is this? What is this garbage? Oh my god. 230 or 115. Okay. Thank good lord. American plug, that's what I need. Mean. Just my luck if something shows up and it's a foreign plug for myself. That would be shitty. Oh my gosh, I have some assembling to do. There are plenty of videos on that. Uh, I'm probably gonna watch one myself, but I will uh, check back in. When we get it all, man, I still got stuff in there. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my gosh. And here's the other upright. That's what it is. That's what made a pretty good clunk. Look, you even get a little spatula, a little scraper. Yeah, baby. All right, that's it. Well, check back in here a little bit. Well, here it is. All put together, all running. What a dream to operate. Super quick and easy. I mean, I've already printed my little Ender 3 uh, cover here. Oh, she's getting ready to print. I am working on printing the uh, back cover for my uh, screen here. Then I've got my little tools uh, holder thing printed so that thing is awesome oh and then my uh, I think the most needed one is this filament guide that just pops right on just right on the end here you know I mean it's super simple you just push it right on pop right on you got to pull off uh, you do have to take off this little guy here this little end cap but uh, Next, uh, yeah, I'm going to be printing a few things. I'm going to be printing some cable guides for this guy back here, and it'll hold it back way back there so it's tucked away properly. Um, I'm going to print a little box for this side here. It brings, it uses this guy right here, this little micro SD to SD card. It takes it, you plug this in over on this side, right, in the SD card slot, then it brings this little box over so I have this just stubbed in this box with storage for other SD cards which is really neat dude I think that's a 
major plus. I'm gonna print uh, a tray for over here. Um, yeah, right now I'm just kind of working on printing stuff for the uh, Ender 3. Um, but also, biggest reason I got the printer was for all of those guys. I'll tell you what, my trailer, uh, this bad boy right here, he's gonna get some printed parts on it, and I would like to be able to print all of this stuff, you know, like this, these things here. I think that all can be printed. So, we'll we'll see how that goes. We'll see, uh, we'll see what I'm capable of doing with this guy. You know, it, it, so far, it just, it just works. Now, I don't know if I quite like that though you know it's like I just I did this to take off some of the stress and now I just don't know if that's good you know man so and then I want to get uh, I want to print these cable holders these nice ones that fold and stuff man you could just you can just really deck it out you don't, you don't even realize it until till you get to going I mean it just what a printer for under two hundred dollars you you can't beat this you can't beat it i'm talking about 200 bucks with filament and this micro sd card thing or the micro sd card to sd card adapter you just you can't beat it you know if you're looking at getting a 3d printer and you don't and you're not a professional or don't have a bunch of experience this is the printer for you I literally have you know limited experience with 3d printers and I've had zero problems so far leveled the bed and as you can see it's making my raft now you know it just it making the raft so that uh, you know and I don't know what this is here maybe film it wasn't fully uh, heated or I don't know but uh, you know I I have had zero problems with it so far it's printed phenomenal you know this is this was my bottom side that was attached to my raft and you can't really tell there but I've got some overlapping on this little spot you can kind of see right there yeah the layers are just a little bit but I'm getting some TL smoothers and that should uh, that should definitely smooth it up. This one, this part here, printed excellent. Except I did have to drill out these holes here, and the gap for this is a little bit tight at the top. I mean, it's just you got to kind of wiggle it back in there to get it in. But not not a big deal. Not a big deal. Just had a few push in, you know, push it in, pull it out, rock it back and forth, kind of wiggle it up, but. You know what, just uh, what what a machine. And I'll tell you this right now, uh, the minute that you start to print, get your first, get your Allen wrench to tighten these up, your tensioners, because this tensioner here is gonna need to be tightened up. The one that you've put on here, this one, mine also needed to be tightened up. And I thought I had it perfect, but you know, it's just your little tensioner here. It's two screws. It's super easy. So have that out and ready for your first print. And because uh, that's what I had to do is while it was printing, and I'm talking about while it's printing, it's on the go kind of adjustment. You got to be quick. And you, you know, you got to, you don't want to put too much tension on it. Cause you don't want these belts to break or get worn out. But you don't want any slack in them because then that'll translate into your print. So just, uh, you know, a couple of things that uh, a newbie like myself noticed uh, when printing. So, yeah, man, we'll, uh, this thing has been amazing to work with. This is my, what this, this came in on Thursday. So this is my third day. It's Saturday. Third day printing with it just epic epic is all I can say um, if you're thinking about getting one you can't go wrong Creality Ender 3 thanks guys